Hi, so you might be thinking about applying to University of Tartu, so I think I can provide you some insight. And on this, on this freezing winter day, I'm, I'm standing in front of the uh, campus of the Institute of Computer Science, and I study here. I am, uh, my name is Maxim, I come from Ukraine, and I study here uh, for Computer Science Master's program, uh, right in this building, and uh, I think I can show you what happens inside and maybe give some useful information about our faculty and life in Tartu. Hi, okay, so now we're inside the building and you can see this very snowy view from the window up there. So let's talk a bit about Tartu. Tartu is a relatively small city, but when I first came here, I was rather surprised how good life can be in such a small city. Uh, you, you have all the attractions that, that you're really interested in, like really close to you, and uh, basically, uh, the dormitories are in, in the city center, right uh, right near all the attractions and all the cinemas and all the malls. And uh, regarding accommodation, uh, I think you can get uh, the dormitory room if you're a full-time uh, master student or bachelor student. You'll get a priority to get uh, to get a room, but it's also quite possible to, to rent a room. And uh, here we will walk into one of the study rooms, uh, this is how it looks, and people, uh, students can just come here and study in their own time. Uh, I usually do this uh, because it's right in our faculty building, and if you have some free time, you go there, you study. And uh, about the program itself, so uh, you, you might know that the application process has already started, and uh, so this is one of the classrooms, and you have time to apply uh, on until the end of March. Uh, so student life in Tartu is very vibrant and I think in my Facebook feed I get so many not notifications about things happening in the city and people going to having uh, any meet meetups or gatherings and uh, ESN is very active in the city and there are different student organizations. Like, uh, you can join them and they usually have uh, quite a great time together and organize all sorts of events. For instance, the Razzle Student Days in Tartu, uh, which are quite famous, and uh, twice a year in autumn and in spring you basically get two weeks of everyday events and people having fun and organizing all sorts of uh, uh, all sorts of weird attractions like uh, different boats in the in the river, uh, like handcrafted people's boats. And there's a pancake morning, uh, like uh, during those uh, student days, and uh, so many Erasmus students come to Tartu, uh, probably because it's famous to be so this really fun and uh, like purely student city. And I have many friends who went to abroad semesters themselves and are having quite a great time there. Uh, but uh, if we talk more about the program itself, uh, you probably know that uh, you still have time to apply uh, and the application process have just barely started and so deadline is 15th March, so don't to take too long to apply. Uh, uh, like my personal opinion, this was probably one of the simplest application uh, processes uh, I've ever witnessed just because like the whole application took me, I don't know, uh, probably uh, in one day I was able to apply, so uh, I wrote my recommendation letter, uh, of course I had my uh, great story translated to English, so I had each set, and so basically you fill up a very simple form on Dream Apply, and th that's it. Uh, so in computer science, as you know, uh, almost everybody, like 80% of people get the tuition waiver, so basically you'll get your education for free. Uh, and uh, like if you don't get the tuition waiver, it's 3,000 per year, which is not that much for the quality of education here. And uh, yeah, so let's talk about education itself. Uh, so I got uh, recommended to come to Tartu by my friends who were like one year senior to me, uh, who were studying like software engineering, but uh, computer science, uh, so far, the experience was really, really good in terms of uh, teaching assistants. Uh, professors and uh, teaching assistants in practice classes are incredibly helpful and 
you can communicate to them, uh, with them like very easily and resol resolving issues is super simple as well. Uh, the courses themselves, I was, I was rather surprised that actually the quality of course is uh, very good in terms of uh, the content is very modern uh, like, and you get to do hands-on things so uh, this is what I like uh, probably the most and you get actually relevant feedback from people who are on the cutting edge in the industry uh, probably research mainly but the industry as well there are people like collaborating with uh, industry companies uh, as as a side of their research activity uh, so we one of the highlights probably was uh, so we on some of the courses we uh, present our results as posters. Th that was my first experience presenting a poster, but it's it's really cool. You do your uh, your regular course project, uh, and those course project topics were quite amazing by themselves compared to uh, what I had in my bachelor's. So they're uh, quite um, uh, quite exciting. And then you present it as a poster, and uh, people will vote for the for the best poster or the best project, and you can get some uh, you can get some neat things like. Uh, merchandise from the university. So this is rather neat. Alright guys, so that has been our faculty building and I encourage you to apply as soon as possible so you can see how, how beautiful it is here. So just don't wait, apply, come, come to here and see you already in Tartu. So bye bye.